Hello, welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the European Super League self-playing snooker. I'm sorry, I was a bit late there. I was just uh, trying to sort out a computer issue. I'm sorry, we're a bit late. We are trying to sort out some other computer issues. Hello, lovely to be back. Welcome. I know a lot of fans aren't happy about this, but uh, we're here. It's happening. Fuck the fans. We're thinking of the money. Thanks to our sponsors, Durex. Um, no matter how much your balls scatter over the board, you're safe with Durex. And uh, I am actually, I know a lot of female viewers feel nervous about watching this because it's so sexy. They're worried they will be impregnated. Well, don't worry. I'm wearing a Durex tonight and uh, it's completely safe to watch if you're a lady or a man who can uh, become pregnant. Um, I have to think of everyone now. Um... Yeah, it's very exciting to be back. Um, thank you to Jurex. They've given us a contract of several million pounds. It's amazing. They don't, they're not really acknowledging it anywhere. Every time I tweet them in, they don't even mention. They're very modest. I was looking for my cup of tea. I think I've left it downstairs. So it's very hot up here. This could be <laughs> could be a mistake to be playing without fluids. Uh, I'm very tired. We'll maybe crack on. Um, if you missed last week's, then it's on YouTube. Go and have a look at it. Uh, but... Uh, me 1 played me 2, and me 3 played me 4. Uh, this is the first game for each player. They'll all play each other once, and then we'll, whoever wins the most points will be the winner. Um, and as you'll remember, me 2. Uh, a lot of people were critical about me 2 being in the league at all, said he'd never had very poor statistics. Uh, played 6, won 1, lost 5 in all other competitions, aside from me 1 versus me 2. Uh, but he threw the critics. He's currently top of the table with a goal difference of 26 and two points. Beat me one very comfortably. Could easily have been a draw, but bang, suddenly away he goes. And uh, then me three beat me four. So me three is currently in second place. But today we'll be seeing me seven. I uh, hardly need to remind you is the Irish me playing me 10, uh, the Welsh me. Uh, that's going to be an exciting one just for the accents. And then me 11, a lot of the fans' favourites. Female me playing me 31, none of the fans' favourites. Sam Beckett me, who has won a tournament in the past, and that is why. But also, these were the ones with the best uh, statistics apart from me too. But it would be an amazing fairy tale story for me too if he went on to win this whole thing. And currently, it's looking good after one frame. Damn, I'm really thirsty. And then there's a tap through there. Maybe I could just go and suck on a tap. I've got a cup of tea somewhere. Where is it? I don't know. Oh, and who's this just coming in to say hello? Oh, it's Looney Bird from um, wow, you're not invisible today. From Twitch of Fun. What have you got to say? Oh, you can't speak, Kenny. That's right. Well, are you here to publicise Twitch of Fun? What? What? When's that on? Don't look angry with me. I can't... And don't say yes for no reason. Why, why are you... All right, is it on at 8 o'clock on Thursdays on this channel and on then repeated on YouTube forever? Good. And are you one of the new stars? You're a magical lo a loony bird who gets out. What are you doing? No! Ah! No! Ah! Stop it. I'm trying to do a serious snooker program. Um, just a little advert there for... Uh, Twitch a fun crossover. Uh, and, uh, oh, I should say, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, Farhad Hamigan's family got in touch. They say um, they were not happy having the arena named after him. So the arena is named after... There's no way anyone could have guessed this. Uh, Vladimir Shatilov. He, uh, he was a 93-year-old cos cosmonaut. He shat all over the, their spaceship. And that's why they gave him that name. It's called Vladimir. Like Vlad the Impaler. Vlad Shatilov. Shatilov of the place. Uh, so he's died only 93 years old. He's been in space probably. Um, and uh, now he's commemorated forever here on Earth. Uh, in the me playing arenas. I don't know if there's anything else to tell you about. I'm, oh yeah, I'm running a half marathon. If you enjoy this stuff. If you're one of the 103 people. 
I mean, I know it's hot and there's football on, but come on. Um, then uh, he would like to sponsor me uh, in return for this uh, and give some money back to the fine physicians and institutions that uh, ripped off my bollock. Go to justgiving.com slash monoball and uh, you can um, chuck in some money and I'm going to try and run a half marathon. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I've lost a little bit of weight already. Um through my uh, exercise and diet. So, uh, sorry, I've got a, just an annoying nail got caught on uh, Looney Bird there. And that's, that's in my mouth. Oh, well, I'll eat it, it's fine. That's better. Um, so, yes, let's crack on. Shall we meet the contestants? I want to, the, not the players, I should say. Um, me Too is the man to beat, it would seem, from the first week. But let's see if that continues. Let's meet me seven. I hardly need to remind you is the Irish me. He's just sitting down now. Well, top of the morning to you, Richard. Hello to all my fans back in the Emerald Isle, the home country of Ireland. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone uh, watching in Dublin, but uh, save a pint of Guinness for me. I'll be up the Liffey and... Then I'll go to cock. Right. Um, that's Irish me there. You can see very much uh, missing home already, even though he's only been over here just for the for the day. Um, and uh, hey, let's have a look at your stats, me seven. Uh, you've played 12, won seven, uh, lost five. I don't think you've ever been, been a champion, but you've done, played very well over the years. Um, do you think this could be your tournament? Oh, Bagora, as sure as the little folk to say to gamble in the uh, four leaf clovers, yes, I think I can win it for you, Richard. So, uh, here's to all the fans. Oh, Danny boy, the lights, the lights are calling from high to low and down into. The world, oh Danny boy, this is a, definitely an Irish song. Is it possibly a Scottish song? No, it's Irish. Oh Danny boy, the lights are on, so let's go there. And Danny boy, I like you very much. Good, so uh, that's uh, Irish me there. I guess we're all hoping he's going to win, but uh, a very popular player, Me10, of course, uh, has won a tournament, was winner of uh, the first championship. I'm right, he's played 11, won seven, lost four. Uh, pretty impressive statistics. Here he is. He's just sitting down now, Welsh me. Here he comes. Oh, boy, oh, hello. Ah, it must be good for you to have to go from Irish to Welsh. Bah, bah. Because uh, I heard that uh, you you like to do the accents, Richard. Well, I'd love to do them. I can't do accents myself. So, uh, you know, luckily you're, you guys are here. Oh, just I was in Method Tidville and um, there was a, a nice Steadford. And uh, I joined in the singing and I was did quite well. So I'm looking forward to... <laughs> I mean, you know, if this was just viewed independently and no one had seen this before, it would just appear like a man having some kind of mental breakdown in a loft. Oh, no, but no, uh, bah, and nothing could be fairer than the truth. So, uh, let's give it up for everyone in Swansea. Is there anyone in from Aberystwyth? I mean, there's more to being from a place than being able to name some of the places and possibly sing some of the songs oh bread of heaven bread of heaven give me some bread it it doesn't matter if it's bread from earth bread from earth give me some bread i just or some seaweed good well uh, i think we should maybe just get on with this contest it's a one frame match uh, me seven versus me ten. Uh, we'll have to toss to find out who's going to 
Do you think it's going to be that side of the cancerous tumour or that side of the cancerous tumour? The slightly bumpy side or the flat side? I think... Oh, oh boy, oh, I think it will be the flat side. It is that... Well, it's landed on the flat side. I better... Do, do you think it'll land on the flat side or... Sorry, do you think it'll land on the flat side? Oh, boy, oh, I think it'll land flat side up. Okay, let's take him. It has landed flat side up. Do you want to go first or second? Oh, oh, sorry. Do you want to go first or second? Oh, boy, oh, I'll go... Uh, I'll go first, because otherwise you get confused by whose go it is. That's very kind of you. Over to commentator one, commentator two in the Vladimir Shatilov, the place. I mean, we should be. I mean, his, his family aren't going to like this. Uh, very exciting frame. No liquid in a very hot environment. Uh, if I if I collapse, someone ring my wife who's sleeping downstairs. So we have to be quiet. OK, here we go. Over to commentator one, commentator two. Hello, Richard. I hope all, all the mics are working. Seems to be. Um, oh, there's a cue on the, there's a snooker stick. Oh, that's no good. That's, that's not right. We might have to, we might have to go back. Is Chris Evans there? That's the wrong picture. That's an old picture. Chris Evans, are you there? Um, let me see if we go back to the interview, if it'll, if I, I'm, I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in again and hope that works. Okay. Good luck. Back to the game. Oh, no. We might have to turn off and turn on again, eh, Chris? I think Chris has just fucked off. Let me just try this. Wow, that's good. Yes! I'm a, I'm a computer genius. We don't need Chris Evans, not that one. Okay, over to Chris, over to you guys. Thank you, Richard. Here we are in the Vladimir Shatilov uh, arena. May you rest in peace. Me seven takes on me ten. Here's me seven uh, on the hockey. Oh, did he hit the pink first? Uh, referee one says he did, and uh, that's bad news for me seven. Straight away, me ten, the Welsh me. Oh, it was the Welsh me. Uh, oh, we've got, just got confused, haven't we? So anyway, me. That's a good shot. Although he made a mistake, didn't he? So it's uh, it's any ball because it's a snooker. So any ball, me 10. Here he goes. Can he get this yellow into the centre pocket? You know he can. That counts as a one. That's brilliant. Brilliant play from uh, me 10. So me 7 broke. Gave away six points. Uh this is me 10, the Welsh me from Welsh Wales. He's scored another one. He's now calculating, calculating me 7, 0, me 10, 7. So me 7, a lot of work to do. Oh, a pretty easy red into the top corner there that he nearly hit the black first. That would have been bad. Me 10. He pots that beautifully. He's coming down for the brown. Long way away, scored another point. It's eight nil, me seven. Tries a plant, doesn't work out, me 10. Uh, good, bold play there. Me seven needs a point. Oh, he's missed, but he's hit, oh, luckily he hits the, he hits a red, even though he missed, me 10. And surely me seven can get off the mark here. He has done. Very good player, me seven. What can he do here? Not a lot. Calculating, calculating, me seven, one, me um, ten, eight. Me ten it is at the hockey. He's potted. He's back for the pink. Beautifully done. Oh, has he snookered himself? Highest break of uh, the frame. Beautiful break of seven. For me, 10, I think. Oh, just trying a few things there. So he's up to 15, I think that's right. Gaggling, gaggling, me, seven, one, me, 10, 15. And here comes me seven. 
Oh, he's, he's got his eye back in, but he has just snookered himself very spectacularly. He's going to have to go for the black or the pink. He's going for the black. Oh, well, it's not going me seven's way so far. He's hit the ball off the table. He gets one point, but gives away seven. He's 20 points behind. Calculating, calculating. Me, seven. Tw is it two? Me, ten. Twenty-two. And both players playing without any liquid on a very hot day. As other commentators, me 10 fails to pot, me 7. The Irish me, we're going to see him every other week, remember. Oh, he's missed. Oh, no, he hasn't. He's potted. Oh, but he's gone in off. Oh, what a shot. It, it, it jingled and jangled. The pocket came out, went across, went in, but then the cue ball came down and went in as well. This is not me 7's finest hour. Me 10. <clears throat> I mean, this is better than Germany versus France, isn't it? E7, he's potted again. Can he pull this back? He's a long way behind. Oh, and the ball jumped in the pocket. Like someone buying some Durex and then running out of the shop because they're embarrassed, never be embarrassed. It came out, me 10. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Can he get that green pass? He thinks he can. He can, me 10. He's put to the second highest break now, it's four, but this break is still ongoing and this could be a three ball break. It is. Surely he can't get this black in. He's going to give it a go. No, he didn't get it, but he did hit it first. So he gets a break of five. It's 31 plays three. But remember, it's the last few balls that count in this game. And me seven's more than aware of that. And that's a beautiful snooker. That is a beautiful snooker. Me 10 gets out of it with a plum. Me seven. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. I don't think you can do much with anything else. He's just hit the black, sorry, the blue, just to see what happens. He's up to four, but he is trailing. Me, 10. Where it read the color of his flag. Oh, he's made no mistakes so far, which the same cannot be said of me, seven. Coming to the table now, the board now. And he's, I think, trying for a snooker. It hasn't worked. Me, 10 should eat this up for breakfast. He has done. Pulls it back beautifully for... Either the pink or the black. I think he's going for the pink. He's, he's part of the pink. It's another high break. For me, 10. Surely this is all over. And this will put me, 10, at the top of the leaderboard if he carries on like this. Oh, but he missed. Oh, dear. He missed the yellow altogether. Gets seven, but gives away six. So he's on to 38. And now me, 10 is on. Me, seven is on 10. And here comes me, seven. He managed to just clip the pink, the yellow, sorry, a bit tired, but didn't get it in. Me 10. Ooh. No good. Me 7. Sends the balls scurrying around the table. He needs to do better than this. Me 10. He's playing nicely. That's a nice clean shot. Can he double this green in? No. It's the simple answer to that. But he's up to 40, 30 points ahead. Me, seven, needs a snooker. This would be the time to get it. He hasn't got it. Me, 10. Should have done better with that. Me, seven. Oh, he's missed the green. He's playing very badly. Hit the brown. Playing very badly. Me, 10. Playing less badly, it shows just... Oh! Oh! What hijinks! Uh, terrible shot from uh, me 10. He goes in off, but he then beautifully pots the green uh, into the centre pocket. No one would have predicted that. So me 7. Is he close enough now? It's 14, plays 34. 
There is 30 in it still. He needs a snooker. And he uses a bit of spin there. To, oh, and that was close from me seven, me 10. Surely me 10's got it, me seven. Trying to just put some distance between these two balls. Me 10. Me 10 has potted the green. Is he going to get one off? No, beautiful shot. And me 10 really is the superior player here. Oh, just misses the brown. There's 22 points on the table and it's a beautiful snooker. Here comes me seven. He's missed. What's he going to hit? It's been called a miss. It was so far away. So he's got to go again. There's four points. Oh, gets it the second time. 51 plays 14, but that might be the snooker. That is a snooker. That's a hard one to get out of as well. And he's missed, and that's got to be called a miss because that was nowhere near. Um, what does he do? He gets at it the second time. So four points to me seven. It's not quite as embarrassing as it could be. Me seven now. Is he going to play safety again? Oh, he's messed it up. Me 10 just wants to pop these balls, get it over with. Me 7 trying to play safety. That's not bad. Me 10. Me 7. Looking for that snooker. Oh, not got it. Me 10. Me 7 at the table now. The brown being kicked around. Me seven, has he got a snooker? He has, me ten's gonna have to come off the top cushion. He's done it, so it was an easy one to get out of. Well, some exciting play here. Me seven, again. Unfortunately, the camera, the table, not with him there. But he's missed, oh! Yeah, just if you wait long enough, mistakes are made. Uh, me 10 hits the black. It's 25, plays 51 now. And me 7. Oh, so I don't know why he's trying to pop that. He's gone in off, so a lot of the good he did before has gone. And also, he shouldn't have tried to pop that. He's still too far behind. He's trailing by 30 points once again. Come on, me 10. Let's. The valleys are watching. Oh, for Christ's sake. Me seven. Oh, he's potted by mistake. And he could get a good 22 here, but he doesn't want to. He gets the four, but it's not what he wanted. Calculating, calculating. Me seven, 29. Me 10, 55. And me 10 could seal it now, I think, if he pots this blue, which he's done. He could definitely seal it if he pots this pink. Oh, he hasn't potted the pink, but I think he's done enough. He's up to 60. I've got 60 plays, 29. Of course, points could be important here, so they're gonna play on. But I think me seven has just handed this. Oh, me 10 missed, it and it missed an easy pink. Me seven's not gonna give up. Me 10. Come on, get it in, son. Oh, that was shit. Oh, it's going to be hard to miss this for me, 7. He's missed it. Me 10. Some good lip action there, but he misses it. Me 7. Oh, I think this is it. Me 10. He pots. The pink, can he get the highest break of the frame? 13, doesn't need it. The set, six is all he needs, and that's it. Me 10 has 66 versus 29. We're going to need a uh, robot voice to work out the uh, difference between those two numbers. It's pretty hard to calculate. Is it 37? Calculating, calculating. Me 
10 wins by 37 points. I mean, that puts me 10 firmly at the top of the leaderboard. Let's have a look at the leaderboard now. It's going to probably come up now. I expect they've done that probably there. The leaderboard will probably come up now to see the... It's probably that's probably been all sorted out. Uh, well, let me tell you, me 10 is currently at the top with plus 37. Me 2 follows with plus 26. Me 3 follows with plus 10. Uh, then we haven't, uh, in the middle, me 11 and me 31 yet to play. And then the reverse, of course. Me 7 finds himself at the bottom. And I think he might be the bottom after this final frame. Let's go back to Richard in the studio. Let's see how he's coping with no water. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's boiling hot here. Um, it's absolutely crazy. I might just have to go and drink out the tap just to keep it safe. Um... Ian Amazon's calling it. He says Me 10's going to win the tournament. It's very early to make that kind of call. Let's see how the football's going, just for people who are interested in that. I mean, you know, you'd think you'd be watching it on the telly, but I mean, let's keep the you know, the service going. 1-0 um, to France. Who would have predicted that? So let's quickly talk to the players while referee one sets up in the background. How are you feeling, uh... Me, me seven. I couldn't remember which one of you is which. Oh, Bagora, Richard. Top of the morning to you. I, uh, I am feeling very unhappy about what has happened because I lost the snooker and a lot of it was my fault. So, you know, that was bad. Good, good, uh, Good uh, summation there. The wrong player didn't break Jason Downing. It was that that's what I meant when we did it. He chose to go second to keep it in an order. I just he was confused if he was me seven or me ten, but it was the right. Everything was right. Um, let's talk to Welsh me. It must be cock a hoop. Boyo will be will be going to see uh, Torchwood tonight with Max Boyce. And eating leeks. I mean, is it really? Is that is that what this this is going to be? Is that all it's going to be? Well, let's crack straight on. Let's meet the as uh, referee one sets up in the background. You probably see him moving around the table now. Uh, let's meet the two players, me eleven and uh, me thirty one. Um. That's uh, female me, of course, and uh, Sam Beckett me from Quantum Leap. Let's talk to you see her sitting down wearing a trademark, slightly stained uh, tracksuit bottoms. Here she is, uh, looking lovely, I have to say. Richard, please, I've I just let's. I've got into this elite tournament. Um, I don't necessarily agree with all the politics of it, but I think as a woman, I had to take part. Um, I've got here on m more than merit. I'm, I think I've won the most frames of anyone, if we just check that. I th yeah, I think you might be right. You've won 14 frames, uh, 14 matches, which is way more than the next player. So even though you haven't won a championship, you are by far the best player. Well, that's what I thought. And I, I really want this to be about the snooker. I don't want you looking at me in my tracksuit. I mean, I've worn tracksuit bottoms, and I know that's a red rag to a bull for some of the viewers. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it's um, it's important to me that this that, that for women that I win this one. I've come to the semi-final for three tournaments in a row, and um, for the women, for Vladimir Shatilov again, I think you're being unfairly just because in your language his name sounds amusing. It's the worst kind of racism, Richard. Um, and you know things are changing. A broom is coming through this sport, and it's it's going to. You know, brush away the old guard. We'll see, we'll see. And let's meet me 31, of course. Uh, Geordie me. Uh, how you, how you feeling about being in the uh, elite European Super League, me 31? Why, I, man, I, you know, I can't believe it. I don't even remember ever play, having played snooker, snooker in all the time. I've uh, been here. I'm here and then... Oh, boy. 
Oh, here's Sam Beckett's arrived. For some reason he doesn't talk with a Geordie accent or an American accent. Oh, yeah, hello, it's me. I'm Sam Beckett from Quantum Leap. I'm back again. Ziggy says that I'm here to win this tournament. Well, you know, you did win the tournament, so Ziggy was right that time. You won the one tournament, didn't you? Apparently, I, yeah, I did. Uh, I don't really like snooker. I don't know why the programme keeps... It's usually I have different adventures, and, you know, it seems annoying that we keep on coming back to this. Well, you know, what can I say? All I can say is good luck. Don't use that cheating device with Al where you can... I'm going to use it because I can't play snooker. It doesn't seem fair. Well, let's see who wins. Yes. Do you think this is, you know, was it a mistake having me? You know, I, I was I had to have you because you won, a, you won one of the tournaments. Okay. Well, I hope I don't change the future. Well, that's what you do. You keep on changing the past, and that means the future will change, and yet you don't seem to appreciate how what damage it causing to the world. All right. Okay, let's go back to commentator one, commentator two. I'm sure the board is set up now. Let's see how it's going on. Over to you guys. Well, thank you, Richard. Uh, hopefully that's the right board. I think it is. Uh, yeah, referee one uh, been called into the referee's area. Uh, back there, in fact, I could just see him. He's going into the referee's area now, if you can just see him. It's just this little room back here. And uh, who knows what he's doing in here. No one can possibly know what was happening there. He's come out, he's just wiped his mouth. I hope he, the referees didn't, other referees didn't make him suck anyone off. Uh, if, uh, if you do have to suck anyone off, of course, please do use a condom, a Durex condom. They're the best ones. I'm not saying that because we're sponsored by Durex, multi-million pounds. I just happen to believe that. So, um, yes, you should use them for oral sex as well. There are many flavoured, beautiful flavours in the Durex range including uh, mackerel flavoured. You can get uh, olive and caper flavoured condoms from Durex. Um, there's actually, they actually have a penis, a dirty penis flavoured condom for real, for real uh, credibility so that you really feel like you are giving a real blowjob rather than one uh, through a, a sheet of rubber. So thank you for Durex for sorting that out. Thank you for the sponsorship. Remember, one of the players here will be winning a million pounds and free condoms for life. Um, we do do, uh, they do do femidoms as well. Referee one's all set up. And uh, is it the bumpy side of the test of, of the tumor or the, or, the, or the flat side? Flat, flat side says me 11. It's the bumpy side. What do you want to do? Me 31. Me 31 wants to go second. So me 11 will break. And uh, not a lot of people looking for... There she is. And those... Oh, look at those lovely jogging bottoms she's wearing. She's broken. It's been a good break. It's a clean break. She's in the lead. Me 31. Oh, bumps the table, gets away. The, oh, he touched the, the ball with his cue there. That's four points immediately to me 11. That is good now, me 11 takes over, so. Uh... Oh, she misses, a... it's a tricky shot. It was a difficult uh, bridge. Me 31 now. Presumably the uh, computer program not working quite yet. Me 11, oh, that's nice. I don't think that black's going to go down. She's realised that. She's going for the pink, her favourite colour. Oh! And when you can play like that, you it's a good job. That's uh, the equal highest break of the night. One of the highest breaks of this tournament so far. Just again proving to the sexists out there that women are just as good at this as men. Can she do a clearance from here? Oh, that was a shame. In a way, the easier shot was missed, but that's a break of seven. It's 11 nil. Here comes Sam Beckett me. Well, that was weak. I think there's something wrong with Ziggy. Me 11 doesn't really know what to go for here. Not a bad try. Me 31. Oh, he's back. He's back and can he put together a break here now and clearance? He might need to clear from here. 
He's going for the pink. And he's potted it. Brilliant retort. Break of seven. Remember, there's a million pounds for the highest break in the tournament as well. So they're playing, there's a lot to play for here. But I think this might be it for Sam Beckett me. Oh, no. Oh, oh, in off. Well, that was unlucky. Break of seven gives away four. Calculating, calculating. Me 11, 15. Me 31, seven. And me 11. Maybe let off a little bit there. Oh. Me 31, what can he do? And even with a cheating computer, there's not much he can do here. Oh, nearly goes in off again, but is he potted? Oh, what a pot on that cheating computer. That's where it comes into its own, really, isn't it? There's nothing he can get in here. He can just go for sort of safety. I don't know if that's very safe, but uh, he moves up to eight. Me 11. Oh, oh, no. Misses an easy one. Me 31 can get back into this. He's potted another red. And me 11 fans. Must be getting nervous. It's nine plays 15. Me 11 just has a crack, why not? I mean, when I say she has a crack, I mean at, at, shoot at a shot. I'm not saying she's got a... Me 31. You just have to be careful what you say, don't you, here these days? Me 11. Can she pop this? She can. Can she pop black? It's worth the most out of all the balls. And she's done it. Is she gonna, oh, oh, she's slightly overran there. So she, there was an easy red. And oh, that was some kind of shot. Uh, right, well, a break of eight takes her to calculating, calculating me 11, 23, calculating, calculating me 31, calculating nine. And uh, me 31 gets the easy red. Uh, so he pulled back for the pink. Some high breaks coming in here. I was just assuming that would go in and it did. Another break of at least seven here. I don't think he can make it up to eight. Again, he gives it a good go though. Seven points and this is still wide open. Me 11 playing with all the confidence she usually plays with until the semi-finals when she usually fucks it up. Oh, not bad there, that was close. Me 31. The camber of the table saves him from going in off. Me 11. Oh, not a bad effort. Long range effort. Me 31. No. Me 11. Oh, hits the post. Me 31. Rubbish. <clears throat> Me 11 about to play. Commentator 2, what do you think of the uh, standard of play? Oh, look at that, that's gone down, red gone down. Poor, poor is the standard of play today, uh, as it always is. Me 11's just got a break of one, can she make it a break of three? She sure can, what a shot. Uh, she could finish this off here and now. Will this be the first three ball break of this tonight? Oh, might have been one other one. It can, it is. Well, it is another three ball break if there wasn't before. She's up to four. She could make a four ball break. She's done it. She might have snookered herself because she's got the blue. So, three, four, break of nine. It's not a snooker. She could potentially make this 10 here. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't hit it right. Nearly comes down the bottom, but a beautiful nine. And I have to say, this, this, she's just the most consistent player. And uh, there is a snooker here. Me 31's missed, hit the brown and gone in off. So I think this might be me 11's night. She's up to, oh, fuck off. Oh, I've just put the wrong numbers on the wrong people. Do you know what the score is, Andy? I've put it, I'm just so tired, I've put it on the wrong bit. Me 11, 38 plays 16, according to, uh, 
that makes some kind of sense. Is that right, 38.16, and is it me 11 to go? You can update me if I've got the score wrong. I just, referee one messed up the score. Me 11, oh no, she fucked that up. And me 31 could eat up this chance. Oh no, he's missed. Missed the red altogether, so. 42 plays 16. Me 11 at the hockey. Oh, she's set him up there though. Could that be the biggest mistake of the evening? She's got a red. She's going for, he's, sorry, he's got a red. He's, oh, he's missed the brown. That's a surprise. He's up to 17. 42 plays 17, but there is a snooker. It's a good snooker, it's another good snooker. Oh dear. And, uh, me 11 hits the black. It's now 18 points in it. And that's nice from Sam Beckett, me. Very nice. Can he get a break of eight here? Oh, he can. And has he got far enough? To, oh, he hasn't quite brought it far enough, far enough down. I think he's snooking himself. Oh no, I think he can just get the yellow, but I don't think he can pot it. I was wrong, he can pot it. He's got a break of 10. Using his computer from the future, he's got a break of 13. This is the best break of the tournament. He's got a break of 17. This is amazing. Oh, and the blue, possibly the easiest shot of the whole lot. Well, that would have put them even. Calculating, calculating. Oh no, I've got it. Oh, I've gone wrong with the. I've got them the wrong way round again. What's the score? 42 41. Sorry about that. I did the wrong way round again. 42 41. I'm very tired. It's uh, me 11. Can she pop this blue? She thought she had it in the bag. Oh, she's done a beautiful shot. Potted the blue. Well, no one can say that the standard of sport is not better in the European Super League. She's done it. She's done it. And I think she's going to get the full 18 here. Oh, she doesn't. She misses the black, but it doesn't matter. She's done enough. Me 11 scores 11 in that break to take her up to 53. Plays 41. Is that right? Yes. Whoa, what a match. And, uh, you know, maybe we should, I think we have to play that rule that it's over if the, the black ball, otherwise we'd be playing all night. Uh, I think uh, me 31 would have potted that black and got up to 48, but uh, it's a plus 12. Uh, putting, I think that puts me 11 in third place. And, uh, what an exciting evening of sport this has been in very hot circumstances. Um, hope you had luck in the gambling arena there. Do donate to Richard. He's, he doesn't like to talk about himself, but he's raising a lot of money for charity, justgiving.com slash monoball. What do you think of that commentator too? Uh, I think a running half marathon will definitely kill Richard Herring, which will be the best thing he can do because he'll make money in his death, more money in his death than he could ever make in life. Back to Richard in the studio. Well, thank you. We're going to wrap up pretty quickly. Uh, let's just quickly talk to the uh, the losing player there, me 31. How you how you feeling? Well, uh, you know, uh, Al directed the ball in that way. I did that amazing break of 20 or something tonight. And uh, what was it? We should write it down. Because it's the high, I think it's the highest break of the tournament so far. Um, was it 19? Anyone remember? I don't remember. And oh, why, hey man, what's happening? What's going on? What, what happened? Uh, you just lost the game of snooker. Did I, man? I don't remember playing any snookers. Well, you did. No, I think it was more than 13. He got loads. He nearly cleared the whole fucking board. Um, 
Anyway, we should look back at that because I think I think it was about 19 or 20 uh, break there. There's five or six balls and uh, definitely the highest break of the tournament. So, uh, me 31 could be in for a million pounds. <coughs> um, but let's talk to the uh, the beautiful winner of that frame, me 11, Richard. It's a compliment. What's wrong with you? It's not a compliment, Richard, in, in this environment. Um, it was lovely seeing you sweating on the board there. Stop it. I've just won a, a frame of snooker. It's a very important frame. It puts me in contention. I'm in the top half of the table. The table will probably come up now. Andy McH is probably filling it in. It's probably going to come up now. And, um, yeah, it's another strike for women. It's another proof that I'm the best player in this yeah, admittedly, there was that good break. Um, and admittedly, the referee seemed confused about who was who on the scoreboard. But everyone's very tired and hot and de dehydrated. So, you know, it's amazing we've got through this. It sure is. Well, thank you very much. Do tune in again next week. Um, I don't know. I haven't worked out who's playing who. Probably me 1 versus me 3, me 2 versus me 4, me 7 versus me 11, me 10 versus me 31. That's probably how it's going to go. Um, we'll do the, all the combinations of that way first. And then start moving them around so uh it'll be the same four players as last week next time but just playing different players and uh you could be sure it will be as exciting as having sex wearing a durex condom which some people say isn't as good as real sex i say it's better also if you don't have a partner just have a wank into a durex if you're a man just have a wank into a durex condom if you're a woman put something in a durex condom and have a wank with that put a banana in it or something um if you're a man, you can do that as well. And if you're a woman, you can try and just wank with a limp. Just do what you want. However you identify, whatever gets you off. Um, just please use Durex. They put a lot of money into this. I think they'll be slightly disappointed with the current viewers. But I think it will build um, over the over the weeks to the millions that they were anticipating. Um, thanks very much. And uh, do sponsor me if you can, uh, justgiving.com slash monoball if you enjoy this turgid entertainment that seems very much to have been something that worked in lockdown but should not really have crossed over into the interim period, let alone post-lockdown, wherever that may be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Self Playing Snooker. Take care of yourself and your snooker. And... Where a, where a Johnny, if you can. <laughs>